What is going on everybody? I hope you're all having an awesome day and we are back with another war recap video and this video guys this is actually going to be a very sad video because um, the war has not actually finished yet but this is almost a guaranteed loss so sorry to spoil it for you guys but uh, it's definitely a very interesting war and I want to make the war recap on this one just because it was such a weird uh, clan so uh, we're going to take a quick look at our stats right now we are 21 and 2. Actually, how do I look at this? I, oh, here we go. Okay. We are 21 and 2 right now, and we are about to take our third loss, unfortunately. So we're on a nice, uh, hot little win streak right there. We are on six war win streak, and unfortunately, uh, I'm 99% sure that it is going to come to an end. So uh, we are going to look at the bases here. This is kind of. Um, you can see here they have 89 war stars, we're at 82, uh, Lord Anthony, our number one, failed against their top guy, and you'll see in a second um, just how ridiculous this really is. So it's unfortunate, but you know, it happens, um, you can't win every war, but uh, as much as you may like to. So we're going to look at the bases really quickly. This is a very strange uh, matchup. We're actually, we're going to take a quick look at their base. They're on, a, I think, a, a 15 war win streak. Uh, if this will load, hopefully. I'm not sure why it's not. There we go. Yeah, they're on a 15 war win streak. You can see they're a level 15 clan versus we just reached level 5 a couple days ago. So, not fair in the slightest, but you know, sometimes these things happen. You get screwed over in, in the matchmaking. So, they were definitely a lot higher level uh, clan than we were. And it's unfortunate, you know, but uh, it happens. So, we're going to just scroll through the bases really quick and you'll see. Um, obviously their number one guy is literally a, a very well developed Town Hall 13 which is already not super fair. Going through number two, obviously not as bad, but um, their defenses are for the most part maxed for Town Hall 11. We're going to go ahead to the next one. Uh, this guy obviously an engineer base or of the likes, so but definitely a higher level troops and you can see here we didn't really have a problem 3 star on this one, but it's really their top guy that, that really did it for us. And then here we go. The Town Hall 9s, this is crazy. So we're going to just count through these Town Hall 9s really quick. So 100% max Town Hall 9 account. We're going to go to the next one. 100% max Town Hall 9 account. We're going to go to the next one. 100% max Town Hall 9 account. We're going to go to the next one. 100% max Town Hall 9 account. We're going to go to the next one. 100% max Town Hall 9 account. And if you guys don't uh, get the gist yet, all of their Town Hall 9s, at least I'm 99% sure, were 100% max. And you can see here, they have the exact same base. Like, what is up with this? This one actually has a level 27 king. But um, they're all the same base. They have the max defenses, almost max heroes for all of them. And you'll see here, their raids are exactly the same. So this one is not a max Town Hall 9, but uh, the same exact base. So it was a very just strange clan. I'm not really sure what to make of it. I'd, I've been, uh, I don't know. It was just really, it was really weird guys. There's some shady stuff going on, but uh, what can you do? I mean, it's, it is what it is. So uh, yeah, guys, so that's just a little uh, taste of their base and the enemy that we were matched up with. It's, it's unfortunate, but it happens. And um, yeah, so we're going to go take a look at a couple of replays. And so yeah, guys, so without further ado, let's hop right into it. Alright guys, so our first raid of the day, we're going to have our number 3, also our clan leader, TJJ14. He's going up against the top Town Hall 9 in the clan. And as you can see at the bottom, he is using his Go Boho army. So, a really strong army. He's a Town Hall 11, obviously, so this is not going to be too much of a competition against this base, really. He's just kind of going to kind of sweep through it. But uh, it was only one below him, so... We definitely had to plan our. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. We definitely had to plan our attacks um, accordingly here, because uh, we needed all the stars we could get as high as we could. So he's gonna drop the wall wrecker, and the wall wrecker is basically just gonna bust through the base, just straight to the town hall. You can see his his bowlers and his heroes are straying a little bit to the side, and uh, they're gonna wrap back around, uh, thankfully by the queen. But um, I mean, no matter where the the troops went, they probably would have been fine, because this is not like a. A super difficult base to be a relatively high level Town Hall 11 versus a Town Hall 9. So you can see here he had uh, balloons in the clan castle which is definitely really interesting. Uh, dropping the healers or heal spell on the balloons just trying to get some percentage done and then you can see in the left he is going to drop the hog riders and really there's no there's no chance uh, for, for this base. There's nothing really that would uh, be able to stop them. The clan castle 
um, was gone, the queen was gone, so he couldn't one shot the hog riders. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Like a really strong army like this, um, once the hog riders get going and you get the heal spells on them, there's really nothing that, that can be done. So he's just gonna go ahead and sweep through the base. We're just gonna fast forward this here because there's really uh, nothing else <laughs> left to say about this one. He's easily three starred this, but every star counts, especially in a war against a tough clan like this one. So this was definitely a really great three star by our clan leader, TJJ14. All right, guys, so this is gonna be our first raid of the video. And as you can probably tell already or implied, um, it's not going to look too well for us. So you can see in the bottom by his troop bar, literally every single thing is max. And they're not even a power potion. These are all max troops, guys. This is crazy. So against uh, Anthony is a Town Hall 12. But um, most of his defenses are still Town Hall 11 defenses just because, oh, it looks like we're having a little bit of connection issue. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Yeah, don't, don't mind that. Um, I apologize. But yeah, anyways, so most of his uh, defenses, if not probably all of them, um, are still like a max Town Hall 11 defense. So this is basically a glorified Town Hall 11 versus a Town Hall 13 with max troops and heroes. So... I mean, there's really nothing we could do at this point. You can see here, he just steamrolled the base. He didn't even have to use his warden ability yet. And really, if he didn't want to, he probably wouldn't even need to. So we're just going to go ahead and speed this up because you already know what, what the drill is. Um, he's going to mop the floor <laughs> with uh, Lord Anthony and there's really nothing we could do. So it is what it is, guys. So yeah, that was our uh, defense on Lord Anthony and unfortunately it was a three star. All right guys, so for our final raid, we have our fifth guy versus their uh, number five guy. And you can see here, uh, Dark, he is going in with the traditional Witch Slap. And uh, this is pretty standard army for our clan. Um, basically, you just drop four witches on the, the left and the right side, or basically just opposite sides of the base like that. And then normally you go in. He went in with the Golem on a, a little bit to the left. But uh, typically, at least what I do is I usually just drop it in the center, followed by two, the other two witches. And you can see here, so he drops the heroes, the bowlers, and the clan castle. Really nicely plays jump spell. You can see they get into to almost basically four compartments there, like the outer two as well as the inner. So that kind of helps you bust into the core a little bit. Um, you can see the E-drag is coming out of the clan castle. And this can give you a little bit of trouble if you don't know how to go about uh, killing it correctly. But you can see here, uh, he used two free spells to slow it down, and then the queen, If assuming you can get the queen over there, um, it's basically a done deal, so it's not too much of a worry. But uh, they really can mess you up if they target your, if the E-drag targets your bowlers or something like that, um, you could run into a little bit of problems. So uh, he's not having too much trouble here, we got plenty of witches still alive, the golem is still alive, you got a couple bowlers. A ton of uh, troops just entered the town hall compartment, uh, that, so that goes down no problem. Queen's about halfway through with health, and really, there's not too many defenses uh, left at this point. Really, the only threat would be this wizard tower down on the bottom, but I mean, there's so many troops left um, at this point that it's not too much of concern. So this was a really good uh, three-star raid by our second guy, Dark. And uh, yeah, guys, this is the kind of momentum we really needed going into this war, especially with how many Town Hall, uh, max Town Hall 9s there were. So you can see he's just clearing up the last few buildings, and that is going to be a 3-star by our number 5 guy, Dark. Alright guys, so taking a look at the war results here, um, like as I said in the beginning of the video, this unfortunately was a loss. This was our third loss in Chief Clan history. So. Very unfortunate, but they were a very odd but very good clan. And there's really, I mean, there's really nothing we can do about it. Like things like this happen, as I said before. So we're gonna just take a quick look at the war details. So you can see 84 to 89, definitely not our best war, but like I said, they definitely had uh, some really good, some really strong bases. Um, so looking at the attacks used, they only used 31 attacks and they were one star off of a perfect war. Um, so 96 average per. Uh, damage de dealt for our clan and 99.67 for theirs so that was definitely a very very high 
Uh, taking a look at the three stars, they had 29 three stars. They were just short, like as I said, of the perfect war. We had a, a couple, couple less than that. We had 26 three stars, three two stars, and then one zero star, which is kind of unfortunate. But like I said, things like this happen. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, props to this clan. They were very good. Uh, very skilled war attackers, and um, yeah, they definitely should be something to be proud of. I think they're on a 16 war win streak now. Yeah, 16. So, I personally do not feel like this war was the fairest. The matchmaking kind of screwed us up, but hey, what can you do? So, uh, that's that, guys. I hope you enjoyed this war recap video and learned a thing or two about army strategies. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll get another war recap video up somewhat soon. I know I've been slacking a little bit on them. I've got a lot of other videos lined up for you guys. Um, so I'm just trying to fit it in when I can, you know, so, uh, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram, banana underscore coc underscore. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys later. Take care and bye for now.